What's up, people? I'm back with another all time 11. Uh, this time it's going to be Arsenal. Um, one of the f my favourite teams um, growing up to watch was Arsenal, especially with the um, the Invincible season. But I think between them and United, um, when United won the treble, they they are the best two solid teams and overall best teams I've ever seen in the Premiership. Um, so this time it's going to be Arsenal. In goal, I've got David Seaman, a uh, legend for the club. Um, his career went off tail a little bit at the end, but he was such a, a great keeper. Um, and he won a lot of titles of Arsenal. Uh, I quite liked Lehman as well, but just for his the years he served at the club and um, the amount of medals and, and things like that, I'm, I'm giving it to David Seaman. Right back, Lauren. Um, a bargain buy for Wenger. I think I, I read the other day he cost, I think it was uh, 500,000, something like that. Um, and he was another great servant for the club. Again, he was one of the, the players that won a lot of titles. Um, uh, from what I can remember, he didn't really get a lot of injuries. Um, but just, a, he fit so well into the team. Uh, and for me, he's the most memorable right back they've had. Um, first centre back. Tony Adams, um, great leader on the pitch, very vocal. Um, he's the type of player that England could do with nowadays, um, and he he could definitely play as well. Like he was a very solid, and he got he'd get stuck into people, but he could definitely play football. Um, so he was one of my centre backs. Second centre back is Sol Campbell. Really liked Sol. Um, I think a lot of people maybe think he had a better career at um, Tottenham, but that was a little bit before my time. I remember seeing him in the red and white, um, and he was an outstanding defender. He was quick for his size, very strong, great in the air, and yeah, he he was just a great player. Uh, left back Ashley Cole uh, I don't think Cole had the same effect when he went to Chelsea um, but when he started out at Arsenal he would be up and down that wing like he was pretty much a left winger as well <laughs> like he didn't need someone else in front of him he just he'd do it all game um, he had a lot of stuff off the pitch during his career like he's, he's still going um, but just a great and I think he's um, England's best ever left back that's how highly I think of him um, going into midfield right wing Freddie Lundberg um, just another player that fit well into the system at the time um, didn't hear a lot of him outside of the game, like negatively, which is always good. And he scored a, some very important goals for Arsenal. Um, I feel he's quite underappreciated. So he's on the right. Um, first centre midfielder, Patrick Vieira. Another great leader. Different style to Tony Adams as a leader, but just as effective. Again, I think like Claude McAuley was for Chelsea, I think Patrick Vieira was, albeit a slightly different position, was a great captain and he was the cog of the team. I think if it wasn't for Vieira, they wouldn't have won the title as they did. Um, so he's there. Second, Santi Cazorla. Now, I wanted to put Fabregas in this team, but I had to leave him out because I feel Cazorla, since he's been at Arsenal, it's changed their overall ability to win games and just quality on the ball. Um, 
and overall I just think he's got a lot more than Fabregas has. Um, but he's definitely a driving force behind Arsenal's success over the recent years. So he's in the centre. Left wing, Robert Perez. This guy was he was just amazing to watch. Him his understanding of Omri was ridiculous. I've never seen anything like it. Um any chipping with in very important goals as well. Um I mean a, a lot of this team is from the Invincibles, um, but again that was the time period I grew up in and I can remember the most from. Um I think he speaks for himself, uh, Robert Perez, he's just, he was just a great player, um, and one that I've missed since he's retired. Uh, first striker, Thierry Henry, the guy, period, was for me the best ever player in the Premiership. Just the speed of the guy, he'd set goals up, he'd score goals, his technique, even he went on to be captain and led in his own way. He wasn't as vocal as Vieira or Adams, but he led in his own way. And the team benefited for it. Um, it was a shame they couldn't win the Champions League that year against Barca, but what a great team to lose to. But the guy, he's the most memorable player I've ever seen for the, in the Premiership. Um... And I dearly miss watching that team with him in it. Um, and lastly, Dennis Burkamp. I think that his goal against Newcastle was definitely it's the best goal I've ever seen in a Premiership. The technique and just speed of thought to pull it off, and the guy was so intelligent. It was it didn't um, it wasn't possessed with pace, but he didn't need it. He was so clever on the ball. Um, and again, he had such a good understanding of players, and the team can only benefit from that. Hope you like this vid. Please give it a like if you're a football fan and um, you agree with this. And please um, let me know in the comments who you'd like me to do next. Um, I'm trying to grow my channel. You'll see a lot of um, different stuff on of my videos. It's not just football. This is only the second sports-related video I've done. So please um, share this to anyone that you think will like it, and I'll be back soon with another one. Thanks, guys.